Hello, and once again, welcome back to Benny's Britain. Now today I'm back here in the centre of Lincoln, and I'm down here at the old Ruston's Sinclair buildings, which are earmarked for demolition. Now I've actually been given a, a rare opportunity to go inside these buildings and take some photographs and videos. Now I've got to wear uh, a high vis and a safety helmet and safety boots because uh, well it's been empty for a, peer, a long period of time and uh, the vandals have obviously been inside there and smashed things up so I've got to wear some safety equipment before I go in so let's get dressed up and then we'll make our way inside well here we are I've got the high vis and the uh, safety helmet and the safety boots on so Let's uh, make our way down there, let's see if they'll open the gates, and we'll go in and take some videos and pictures. Let's go! Well, here we are in the main courtyard of these derelict warehouses. This place was last in use as a, as a fertiliser manufacturer in 2015 when it was the former home of William Sinclair Horticulture who had been on this Firth Road site since uh, around 1984 now before then the, uh, the engineering giant Ruston had occupied this site from the, uh, the early 1900s Ruston and its, uh, its successors were at the time a massive engineering company with factories all over Lincoln and were also the largest employer in this area. Now Ruston built everything from small engines to cars, threshing machines, aeroplanes, boilers, trains and steam engines. But uh, it was on this site that they built aircraft engines in World War I and in 1918 was the largest producer of aircraft engines in the country. Well, here it is, the old Ruston building. Now, several historians have asked for this building to be spared from demolition and made into a, a museum dedicated to Lincoln's engineering past. But, uh, unfortunately, it will have to be demolished along with all the other buildings on this site as it has been deemed too unsafe and too far gone to save which is a real shame because this uh, this iconic place because there's so much uh, history here
Well, can you believe? We are now actually inside the old Ruston building. Now, what must it have been like to have been involved in manufacturing aeroplane engines at that period of time and knowing that you are part of the war effort and what you are doing could make a difference to the First World War.
Now here we are coming up to the William Sinclair offices and um, you can see all the glass that's on the floor here from, uh, from what the vandals have left where they've smashed all the windows um, this is probably why I've got to wear this uh, hard hat any, uh, any bits of glass can quite easily come tumbling down on top of me I've been told it's ex uh, an extreme mess inside the building as well we've got to tread very carefully when we get inside Wow, look at all of this mess. Unbelievable what, the, what these vandals have done inside this building. Can you believe what some people actually do? It's uh, unreal. They've uh, smashed everything, absolutely everything has been smashed. You know, all the radiators have been ripped off the walls. All the windows are totally put in. It actually looks like uh, a bomb has gone off on the outside and have blown everything uh, everything in and everything over. Oh, there's even holes in, uh, in the walls that the vandals have punched through. Uh, unreal what some people are like.
inside one of the warehouses where William Sinclair made fertilizer. Now unfortunately this video camera I am using has no manual override so if it does get too dark in places I will have to result in taking photographs instead. Well here we are back outside and we're looking at the uh, the side of the warehouses here 
where many years ago local students were allowed to uh, paint murals along the site to sort of uh, brighten the place up. Of course over the years vandals have also uh, painted bits and pieces round here but the murals that the students did some of them are really quite good.
Well, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed uh, having a look around these derelict buildings. I know I have. And like I said, all these are going to be uh, demolished over the next few weeks and I will uh, hope to be here to uh, witness the uh, demolition. But uh, can't always guarantee that. Uh, but never mind, we shall try. But thank you very much for uh, coming along and having a look round. And we will see you again later. Goodbye.